Hi guys, welcome to Lady J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down and he will do it if you allow it. Yes, he will. Good evening to you guys. I want to start out first of all by thanking everyone that attended my birthday party and for all my birthday wishes, my birthday blessings, and my birthday presents. Thank you all. I really appreciate it all for supporting my birthday party. Thank you. Um, good evening. Um, I today want to talk about um, when you have a tough decision to make and you you just, you know, it's become uh, such a nuisance, such a um, just draining, uh, a little bit of stressful and just it's just taking up too much space in your head, you know, um, it's a decision that's heavy. And it weighs heavy on your heart. Um, it can be um, a decision for for uh, health issues. It can be a decision for just um, uh, life issues, love issues. Uh, you know, the right job issues. It, you know, it can be. It can really get to you. You know. Well, I have a, a tough decision to make, and uh, God, it actually this decision has been going on on with me for the past year okay um and it's it's come to the point now that i i have to go head on and i have to make this decision and um i felt um i felt a little guilty and and i felt bad when i was going over in my head about this decision because it was um dealing with my faith you know uh and when you say you have faith that means you believe in all areas um there is no lacking and you cannot um have faith for this and not have faith for that so that means i have to have faith all through and and that's what i'm trying to uh stand strong stand steady and and stand fast on my feet for i know that God is going to be with me throughout this uh, period um, of uh, making this decision. Um, I know that he's going to lead me down the right path. Um, and I know that. Because see, with, with, when you have to make a decision, most times you have two things you got to weigh out. Okay, if you... Uh, if you decide to go with this decision, you have to worry about what the consequences may be behind it. But if you choose this decision, then you, you know, it might be a worse consequence than if you do that other decision. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm dealing with, um, if I do, then I'm still going to have to deal with the aftermath of making that decision but the good thing about it is if I make that decision I won't have to deal with the consequences of what may happen if I don't if I choose to stay in the in the situation I'm in now so I know that we've all had to deal with this at one point in our life uh, making a tough decision and we didn't know we didn't believe that God was going to be there with us through this decision um, we didn't know um, if we chose to do uh, this certain thing if it was going to turn out for the better see we can't see the results so in our mind, it, it worries us and stresses because it's almost like um, a, a box with a with with a gift in it. Okay, you know, if you don't open that box, that you're not going to be able to see what's inside. So you have to open the box to find out the miracle that God has, okay? 
And you have to learn to listen to the Holy Spirit because Satan, the enemy, will try to play tricks on you. He'll, he'll try to make you um, make the wrong decision, the wrong choice so that you can end up messed up at the end of the day. Okay, because you made the wrong decision when God had been telling you and trying to show you that things may change when you make that decision, but at the end of the day, your consequences will be much lighter than if you stay in this position that you're in now. Okay, you could lose everything. You could be, um, you, it could be a worse, a worse situation. So, I woke up this morning, and as I said, you know, I woke up this morning, and the Spirit began to talk to me, and all I could think about was, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. I, I, I trust in him and I have faith in him and I can't keep uh, trying to figure this out on my own. So now I have to continue to lean on him. And he, he's, I, I believe that he's uh, giving me the answer. As I said, I woke up to the Holy Spirit speaking to me this morning and telling me that I have two choices. I have the choice to fix it and work on it to perfect it and make it better or I can stay where I am now and take the risk of losing losing and if I lose it could be devastating. It could be devastating. So I had to weigh it out. And I had to say, I would rather take my chances with this than to suffer the consequences of staying in this. And the reason why it took me so long to make this decision come to terms with this decision is because I know Satan will play tricks on you, okay? Satan will have you thinking that one way is the best way after the Spirit told you to go this way. And I no longer will allow him to win in my life. I no longer will allow him to trick me into messing up. Something that could be great. Something that could be good. Better for me. Yes, it might make changes in my life. You know, it might make some changes. There's going to be some changes. But um, through God's grace, mercy, and love for me, I know that he's going to see me through every step of the way. And with that, I'm just looking forward to... Um, I'm looking forward to a brighter day. I want you guys to remember that God is with you at all times. Throughout these hard times, when you come to a, uh, a point in your life like this, never give up. He will be with you. He will see you through. God bless you. God keep you. And just know that I love you. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Lady J Love. It's some good stuff here, and I got plenty of it coming. You guys have a blessed night. Peace out to you.